Um, as we all know, um, shortly after midnight on June 1st, uh, there were units of the Louisville Metro Police Department and Kentucky National Guard in the vicinity of 26th and Broadway. They had reported that uh, there had been gunshots and that they had returned fire. We had one deceased person, as the governor stated, David McAtee, was, uh, died at the scene. I can tell you very preliminarily uh, the results of, uh, first results of an autopsy seem to indicate that Mr. McAtee succumbed to a single, we believe, a single gunshot wound to the chest. But tests on uh, bullet fragments will have to be conducted at the Kentucky State Police Crime Lab to see if we can determine exactly which type of uh, bullet he was struck by. At this time, we do not know that, but we do believe it was a single bullet. Following the incident, there were a number of people, approximately 13, who were at the residence where Mr. McAtee was. They were interviewed. Many of them uh, had samples taken, gunshot residue samples. Uh, none of these results are back yet. They're all uh, very new, and they were all preliminarily interviewed. At that residence, we recovered a total of seven weapons, six handguns, one shotgun. The, uh, all will be undergoing certain types of tests, including tracing by ATF, DNA testing. We are going to look to see which, if any of them, have been uh, discharged. We clearly believe that at least one of them was discharged. And uh, try to match up those weapons with any of the shell casings that were found in the vicinity. We obtained search warrants. Those search warrants yielded, in part, videos from both external cameras and internal can cameras at that location. And in fact, as the governor alluded to, video from those cameras was released earlier today by Louisville Metro and, uh, and available for review. Um, that review will continue in great detail, frame by frame, to further get a, a better indication of exactly what the sequence of events. And in fact, we hope to go through a very laborious uh, practice of trying to match up those videos with any other videos that were done either by civilian or security cameras, and along with any audio video that we might have captured, say, on police radios to try to truly get a true chronology of what occurred. All of the, the weapons that we believe were involved uh, by the National Guard and uh, Louisville Metro were inventoried, and it is our belief at this time that approximately 18 shots were fired between uh, the National Guard and Louisville Metro Police that evening. And again, we have collected shell casings, and those weapons are also in our custody for further testing. And they will be tested for DNA and, and any other thing we can get from them. We're going to be reviewing whatever body cam video was avail available, audio. I have been in contact with both the Commissioner of the Kentucky State Police I had a conversation last night with the United States Attorney for the Western District of Kentucky, who indicated that the FBI, alongside of KSP, would be participating and conducting an investigation. Our goal is to get all of the facts, uh, get them quickly, and be able to present a, as much as possible, clear determination of what happened again, shortly after midnight on June 1st. We will be giving updates as appropriate, given the fact that this is an ongoing investigation. I cannot comment any further on the results that, other than what I've given you today.